Hello everyone, this is Buck WSR Weezer coming at you today once again with another small engine repair video. Here we've got a really cool kind of vintage, I don't know what year it is, Craftsman two cycle gas engine backpack blower. This thing runs great. It sat for a while, but it started on the very first pull. But the problem I encountered is that when I filled the gas tank, put poured gas in it, it came running out the bottom somewhere. The gas tank has a crack in it. So our goal today is to take that tank off and try to repair it. I haven't looked up trying to replace the tank. I don't even know if I could. But I want to try to repair it today. And so we're going to do that together here. Here are the tools we're going to use. Slotted screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, 30 watt soldering iron, and maybe a hacksaw. So the first thing we need to do is take down the tank. So let me put you on a tripod. And uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I've already removed most of it. There's just one of the four screws remaining that's going to come out. I've already disconnected the, the hose that goes to the carburetor and I've emptied the tank. So it's pretty much empty and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this but here's our hairline crack right here. So it's towards the bottom of the tank so anything more than a quarter inch of fuel in the tank and it starts running out. And what my goal is going to be will be to use the soldering iron to just melt both sides of this crack and hope to solder it back together. Since it's just a hairline crack, I'm hoping that's all it will take. But another idea I have is if I need more material to melt and put in that crack, my idea is to take a hacksaw and just cut off a sliver of the plastic that's not really part of the tank, just part of the mounting side here. And maybe what I'll do is I'll go ahead and cut a little sliver off so that I have it. Just in case we decide to go that route, and I don't really know if we will. Let's see here. Just a sliver. See, that's not part of the tank. It's just part of the. Uh, not not part of the uh, that encounters any gasoline. It's just part of the mounting of it, and this tank will still mount up just fine with the same four holes. And I'll use this sliver, if necessary, as a little bit of extra material if I need to use it to fill that crack. All right, so I'm going to plug in the uh, I'm going to plug in the soldering iron. We'll give that a few minutes to heat up, and in the meantime, I'll finish off the rest of my coffee. Okay, it's heated up, and here we go. I'm just going to try to melt the plastic on both sides of the crack and push it towards the middle. Guess what I'm actually doing is just running straight up and down over top of the crack and hoping that what is melted is going into the crack seal it up there's this one spot here where the crack was the widest 
And that's where I think I want to try to put in some of this piece that we cut off with the hacksaw. lay it on top of there, put the soldering iron on top of it, kind of push it in. That actually feels like it worked pretty good. I'd like to try some more of that. sun's trying to come out and then I feel a few more raindrops and then there's the sun again I guess it's having a hard time making up its mind here play around with it excessively I feel like we may have accomplished our objective already and there is but one way to find out if we have and that would be to uh, add some fuel if it leaks out I think if it is going to leak out that should be apparent pretty quickly and if it does we may just have to start again so I'm gonna put my finger over the uh, fuel outlet Adding a little bit of fuel. <sighs> Letting it sit right down there in the in the repaired area. And I don't see any leakage. Do you? You might not be able to tell what you're looking at. It's right here above my thumb. So I've got the gas tank tilted so the gas is sitting right on that. And it's nice and dry. And that was a pretty quick and simple way to repair this problem. I don't know what it would have cost me to even replace this tank if it were even possible on this machine. But I think we've got it. 
and I think it's now just a matter of getting it back on the uh, getting it back on the on the machine. Connect them right there. Clamp those there. Put this guy back up here. We got one, two, three, four screws. Hold him in place. Yes, there's enough fuel in there. I think he would be leaking by now if he were going to. Feels dry under there, so I think we've accomplished our goal. Get some more fuel in. back in business so here's a, it's a nice uh, easy way to take care of a problem which otherwise would be costly so we took care of it and I thank you for joining me for this video I hope it helps you in your projects appreciate you watching bye